This is a quick how-to video that will cover the basics of configuring the B25 Wide Beam Retroreflective Sensor from Banner Engineering. The B25 is designed to detect a wide variety of targets while filtering out common obstructions such as a moving conveyor belt. There are two methods of teaching the sensor, a static teach and a dynamic teach. The static teach method configures the sensor for detecting beam blockages in excess of a taut condition. This means that the sensor can be taut with some beam obstruction from a conveyor and only detect objects that rest on top of the conveyor itself. Begin by pressing and holding the teach button for two or more seconds until the green power LED starts flashing. This puts the sensor into configuration mode. Present the normal condition to be filtered out and press the teach button once. The green and amber LEDs will flash twice to confirm the taut condition has been accepted and the sensor will return to run mode. If your application has an inconsistent beam obstruction when no target is present, such as flutter from a moving conveyor belt, a static teach may cause the output to chatter as the obstruction moves. To counter this, you can perform a dynamic teach which takes multiple samples of light and dark conditions and automatically sets the threshold at the optimum level. To perform a dynamic teach, begin by putting the sensor into configuration mode, and then press the button two times. The bar graph LEDs will begin cycling up and down to indicate that the teach process has begun. Present multiple obstruction conditions and then press the teach button one more time. The green and amber LEDs will flash twice to confirm that the teach was successful. The B25 also allows you to select from three sensitivity modes, low, standard, and high. To change the sensitivity, begin by putting the sensor into configuration mode and then push the button three times. By default, the sensor will be set to standard sensitivity. Press the button to toggle between the options and the bar graph will change to indicate which level was selected. Press and hold the button to select the desired sensitivity level. If you need to flip which condition triggers the sensor output, you can do so by toggling between light operate and dark operate. To do this, put the sensor into configuration mode and then press the button four times. The top bar of the bar graph will now show the current output setting with on referring to light operate and off referring to dark operate. Press the teach button to toggle between these options and then press and hold for two seconds to confirm your selection. If you wish to confirm all of the configuration selections, you can do so right on the B25 itself by pressing the button one time. The corresponding LEDs will illuminate for a moment to show the status of each configuration option. That covers the basics of the B25 Wide Beam Retroreflective Sensor. For more information, visit BannerEngineering.com.